from waste to high value products. Yes. All right, so now it's uh, time for me to talk about uh, my passion in life, and that's uh, hydrogels. And uh, for you that don't know what hydrogels are, um, they are, according to Wikipedia, uh, cross-linked hydrophilic polymers that are really good at holding water. So uh, they're also called um, uh, super absorbents because they can hold uh, up to 100 times their own weight uh, in water. Uh, and you can see an example of that on the on the picture up on the right. You have a hydrogel in its dry state, the one on the left, and then the same hydrogel when it's fully swollen. So you may ask, uh, what can you use hydrogels for? Well, uh, you may not know this, but uh, hydrogels are actually saving the lives of many parents around the world since they started using them in diapers. Uh, other <laughs> useful uses for these are, uh, for example, in tissue engineering, where you can use uh, hydrogels to treat patients that have burn injuries, any kinds of skin diseases and so on. But you can also use them in the agricultural uh, industry, where you can mix them in sandy soil to increase the water retention. But you can also infuse them with nutrients uh, and thus uh, have the nutrients diffuse slowly over time and uh, supply the, the crops. Uh, there's one guy that actually believes uh, in hydrogel so much uh, that he actually used them in his swimming pool uh, to save on water usage. However, I'm not really sure on how practical uh, that is. <coughs> so hydrogels do exist today. So what are we doing differently? Uh, the things uh, about hydrogels are that they are mostly uh, produced from fossil-based polymers. Uh, which are either uh, not biodegradable, and if they are biodegradable, uh, they usually release a lot of toxins. So uh, what we're doing differently is that we're using sugars, and not any sugars, but sugars that come from the pulp and paper industry. Uh, and this is where the focus of my research is, on how to separate these sugars uh, from this waste stream that also contains impurities, chemicals, uh, and a lot of water. Uh, so. Two years later, we have a process that uh, actually works. Uh, we uh, can get uh, very uh, sugars with very high purity. Uh, the, the, the only thing is here is that the cost. I mean, when you will try to sell this, they're always going to tell you, okay, how much does it cost to produce uh, these uh, sugars? And then the second question, can you actually produce hydrogels from these sugars that you extracted? And uh, <clears throat> uh, good thing, yeah. We can. Uh, the thing we've tried here is to see how we could decrease the cost of the uh, separation process, because the lower, uh, the the the, high, the higher uh, amounts of, of impurities you have in the sugars, the um, the the lower the cost uh, of the process. So we we tried this, and we could see that there's a critical point of where you can actually form hydrogels from these. Uh, uh, from these sugars. Uh, so this is where we are right now. We're still fine-tuning the process, still optimizing, and hopefully in the future we're going to uh, find a cost-efficient uh, solution for this. Thank you. Thank you, Basel. And <clears throat> the actual stuff that we get paid to do in your product, yeah, isn't this? No, it's not that. No. This uh, is something you do for fun, right? This is something I do for fun. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So that's the passion of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the the membrane filtration is kind of just. I mean, it's it's and ends meat. I, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the, the membrane filtration. I mean, after that, uh, I mean, that's like the key technology you can use to produce these sugars, which in turn, uh, which you can then use to produce yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Uh, and this is one of the. I believe most interesting stuff to produce from yeah. these sugars. So, yeah. you 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 weren't content with it just producing the sugars. You wanted to do something with them as it, well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because that's the question you usually get when you try to take your PhD here. They'll ask you, okay, you produce these sugars, but what can you use them for? Uh, can you use them for anything useful? And uh, yeah, uh, I believe we can. But one can say that you are uh, the exception to the rule that we don't usually go into products. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Thank you. Thank you.